Hey fishing freaks, welcome back to another awesome episode. So yes, this is a fishing video, okay? Please do not click off this video. This is a fishing, I'm about to go fishing tomorrow, right? But before I do that, I just want to cover a couple of things. Obviously, I just want you guys to know, okay? Number one, the Houston Fishing Show, which is gonna be from March 1st all the way through the 5th, I believe. March 1st to 5th, pretty much Wednesday through Sunday. Let me just verify that real fast. Yeah, Houston Fishing Show, March 1st through the 5th, 2023, which is pretty much right down the quarter, a few days from the release of this video. And yes, I will be there. However, I only have time to be there on one day because number one, I have to film, and number two, I have to work. And number three, I'm a family man. I gotta take care of family. But the day that I will be there is gonna be March 3rd, three, which is on a Friday. And I'm pretty much gonna be there all day from opening probably till around, let's say 3, 4 p.m., depending on um, you know how big the crowd is, whatever the case may be. Uh, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be jumping around from Old 18 and Bugs Fishing Lures booth. <laughs> so I'll be at Old 18 for a little bit, then I'll go jump to Bugs Fishing Lures. I'm gonna be jumping around. So if you're looking to come say what's up, which I hope you guys are gonna do, please, please look for me in those two areas, Old 18 or Bugs Fishing. And if I'm not in either of them, I'm probably in the bathroom or getting a beer. I would love to shake your hand. Thank you so much. Or thank you personally for all the support you've given me for the last five years. And yeah, let's take some pictures. Let's talk about fishing. Yeah, let's just hang out. Houston Fishing Show, March 3rd, I'll be there. Uh, second, question I've been getting a lot is what do I like to wear when I go fishing? So real fast, let me just show you pretty much what I wear anytime it's cold here in Texas. And we'll start from the bottom. Right here, I have waterproof socks, okay? I love to use waterproof socks because I don't want to get my feet wet and feet cold when I'm launching my kayak. And I don't know about you guys, when my feet are cold, my whole body's cold, okay? Even though I'm fat, but my feet have to be dry and these keep my uh, feet pretty dry and obviously it's waterproof, right? Okay, second is pants, man. Let's talk about pants. I like to wear high-end pants because I truly believe the pants really you know, prevent your legs from cramping, prevent your legs from getting bit by bugs, chaffing, etc., etc. I personally love hunting clothes and I love First Light products. So when I, what I've been doing lately, the past couple of years on my channel, is wearing First Light hunting pants for fishing. Yes, they are water resistant, high quality nylon, very thick, very breathable, perfect for the winter weather, and also very cool for the summer weather, like in Port O'Connor, we're on site, site casts. Sight fish, sight cast fishing for redfish. You know what I'm talking about. And this model right here is called the First Light Cor Corrugate Guide Pants. This has been in my arsenal for over three years now, and it's really not showing any age, no tearing, nothing. I love these. Okay, put that to the side. For a net gator, I like to use Sims right here. You guys probably seen this on my channel a lot. Sims make high quality fishing gear. Protects me from bugs. Protects from the sun which if you're out there for many, many hours, you need good sun, sun protection. So I highly recommend these from Sims. Okay, put that down. For a base layer, pretty much when it's hot outside, I love to wear, once again, Sims fishing gear. And this right here is a great fishing shirt from Sims, very high quality, SPF 50, I believe it is. Um, you can buy this from Sims. Obviously this is from Bugs, you can buy them. Bugs carry these too with their logo on it. I really, I've had this for about three years now. Does not show any kind of wear or tear. Love their design, very soft, very durable. I wear these every single time I go fishing. I mean, these are just good long sleeve. With the hood, I will never ever wear anything else but this because I feel like it gives me that extra sun protection on the long sleeve. The hood to cover me up too, just in case. I mean, it's a great, great fishing shirt. Okay, so when it gets cold outside, I like to wear a heavy fleece from Sims. This is a quarter zip. As you can see right here, quarter zip from Sims. I've had this for a couple years in my arsenal. Before that, I had a red one. I wore the hell out of it. I still have it actually it's somewhere in my wardrobe. But yeah, this is wind resistant. It's perfect for the weather here in Texas. I mean, it doesn't get too, too cold like it does crazy up north, northeast. Like I'm talking about like New York, Rhode Island, stuff like that. But when it does get cold on the water in Texas, I love to wear this. I mean, this protects me and I'm pretty warm pretty much all day. Those are pretty much the items I like to wear when it comes to winter. I'll wear a Sims fishing jacket over it, which actually, let me go and show you. Hold on. All right. All right. This jacket right here. Sorry, guys. I'm so disorganized. But yeah, 
It's like a down synthetic type jacket that's pretty thin, pretty packable. It folds up really nice just like that. I mean, it's pretty warm. You have all these layers on that flint, that fleece with the under fishing shirt and this on top. You're gonna be warm pretty much. I mean, I've worn this like in 20 degree weather here in Texas off the water fishing and I've never gotten cold. And I mean, this has been in my arsenal for a long time too, many, many years. Technology, I guess that's the feel, the synthetic feel. But yeah, love this man, I highly recommend it. I'll pretty much leave every single link I can in the, in the description box if you're interested in any of these products. But yeah, let's get to the fishing. I'm sorry I kind of dragged this on a little bit. But once again, fishing show, I'll be there March 3rd. Hope to meet you guys, bugs or old 18. And that's pretty much my winter fishing gear. Let's get to the fishing. Okay, I'm coming to my spot that I tore it up last time with the bugs. Gonna be using the Shimmer Swimmer and see if we can catch some fish. I'm looking for a giant trout. That is the goal of today, people. Giant trout, giant trout. Okay. Burr, it's cold. It is freaking cold. But we're gonna try our best. Come on, Bantam. Loosen that drag. Give me a big fish, okay? I need a big fish. And there's some good bait movement here. I like it, I like it. Oh, there we go. Oh, he dropped it. That was a good bite, man. That was a good bite. I like I like the start off right there. Oh, he's still on. He's still on. <laughs> he's still on. I got you, buddy. I got you. That's a good trout. Way to start off, man. I knew the shimmer swim was going to come up. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, not the giant I caught last time I was here, but hey, I think he's going to be keeper. Yeah, I think he's going to be a keeper. Yeah, he's going to be right at keeper size. Okay, I'll take it. First fish, man. Not gonna complain. He swiped at it real good. Like that. Look at that. Good fish. Thank you, buddy. Okay, let's see if there's another one here. I don't wanna get too close. So let me back up. Let me back up here. What? Another one? Oh my gosh, I didn't feel this guy hit. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow. This is gonna be one of those days again? They're one in the shimmer swimmer and I think I found a school of trout right here. A school of trout, yeah, he's gonna be keeper. Keeper, yes. Dude, I can't believe this spot is still fire. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, nice another keeper. Wow, yeah, baby. That's about 16 all day. All right, let's get you out of here. We're gonna catch, catch as many as possible in 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minute video. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Okay, she still looks good. She still looks good. I'm using the same jig head I was uh, maybe a month ago. So I haven't really re retired or did anything. Been kind of lazy. <laughs> but it's working. Okay, let's try this again. Real shallow. I'm not trying to get closer or anything at all. But they're right there. They're like literally like 20 yards in front of me. Okay, I'm looking for that big one. Looking for that monster trout. I might have to put some stink on it. I'm not using any stink right now. I'm just straight up putting the lure on the uh, jig head. Come on, baby. Don't make me pull out that shrimp stink. There we go. Oh, dude, I just got nailed right there. Okay, they're here still. They're here still. nail there again so I'm gonna swipe at it okay that's a good sign there we go no he let go no he's still on no he let go 
<laughs> it might be a smaller guy. It's kind of can't put it in its whole mouth. She can't put it in their whole mouth. I don't blame her. Let's do that again. Oh, yes. Yes. There we go. There we go. Another good speckled trout, man. Wow. I can't believe they're still here. This one got a little bit pulled too. <laughs> Another good speckled trout. Yep. Good speck. Good one, good one, good one. I mean, they're not as big as the ones I caught on the curl tail, but um, yeah, they're still big, man. Another nice one. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, 17 all day. All day long, all day long. All right, come on girl. Let's get you unhooked here. Get you out of here. Okay, all right. All right, girl. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Wow, keeper number three or four, man. I don't know. I just started, I can't believe it's still here. One more and we got a limit and then we got a good video. Winter time, it's all about speckled trout. Mmm, nice, 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 nice. Come on, we're gonna turn around so we don't disturb the spot here. Another nice one. <laughs> she's pulling drag, man. She is pulling drag. I think she's gonna be the biggest one today. Oh yeah, biggest speckled trout. They are healthy here, man. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Yes, yes. Come here. Come here, we got you. Oh my God, <laughs> this is crazy, man. So insane. All right, trickle, speckled trout number four or five, it doesn't even matter. Look at that, I showed you guys before. They are in the mud. It's cold down there and she needs to warm up. And this shimmer shimmer is aggravating these speckled trout to the point where they just got it instinctively freaking nail it. Yeah, look at that boy. Dang, that's a big one. Oh man, fat beauty right here. Probably 17, 18 inches. Let's just measure her real fast. 18, almost a quarter. We'll just call her 18 inches. Oh, beautiful trout, man. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Here we go, later. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe it. We already got pretty much a limit of trout. The water clarity is not bad. I mean, I can see two feet down below and you can see it floating. You probably can't even see it on the camera, but there she is, the star of the show. What can I say? It freaking works. Short fishing activity, but that was a point. I just wanted to see if I can catch some speckled trout, and indeed we did. But anyways, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment for me. Let me know if you guys appreciate these type of videos. Winter fishing, speckled trout. I know I catch a lot more redfish than winter uh, overall compared to trout or flounder, but you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. But thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. I love every single one of you, and we'll catch you on the next one.